Y'all heard what happened with Uganda, right? What happened with Uganda? Man, them Bamas put in a law like, hey. Oh, oh I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You a certain way. See, that's too much, though. Nah, but that's the thing. The, the media trying to spin it like. like It's hateful. It's, yeah, like it's hateful, like to well, the point. Where, I didn't get that from the report. The, no, nah, they okay, saying if you you. if you a certain way, you going to jail. That's what the media is saying. All they saying is the the actual law is if you try to promote that lifestyle oh. to other people and children, you going you to, will jail. Go to jail. Going to Not jail. you if can you, do what you want to do. And yeah, you can right. in the privacy of your home. Mm. He also that law also states that. If you're a politician in power and you live that way, you, can't. you cannot have your seat. So you, after this right. law passed, you have to step down. Right. Even if you live that way in private. Even if you live that way in private, right. you got to do something else because you're not going to influence politics. That's all that law states. And some people will classify, see that something like that happened here, that would be discriminatory. That's what they try to claim that is discriminatory. I mean, it is. Explain. Because yeah, it is, Josh. <laughs> but but it just said explain. Yeah, because you know yeah, what? I, it is. <laughs> because I thought about it. Because I mean, anything that you don't have, y'all remember a while ago when the cake maker refused to make a cake for the gay couple? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I was yeah. like, man, that's his business, dog. He can run it the way he wanted. But then I thought, I understand that that's discriminatory. But I was, just, but then I thought, I about just it. thought about the two laws that you said, right? And they contradict each other. Yeah. Because you can, uh, it's cool in, in the private. comfort of your own home. Yeah. Like we're gonna leave you be. Yeah. So it should be the same way for that politician. Because yeah. But the thing is, the politician has influence. I agree with you. To push whatever agenda that they want to push. I agree yeah. with you. And that's why they're saying yeah. you can't work in an influential position. I oh, mean, so that's what it is. What's the difference in saying it's across the board? Influence, period. So any you influence. Can't push what's the difference in period. that and someone saying a person without a doctorate degree can't have this job? What's the difference? Is that discriminatory? No, nah, that's based on qualifications. Of, yeah. Okay, that, I mean... So okay, the and a lot of times these countries, for instance, in India, India, um, a United States government. You wonder why a lot of Indian companies have tech contracts here. Mm -hmm. What happened in India is the United States government said, "Hey, if you push this agenda in your country, in your country, mm -hmm. you will be able to be awarded with a lot of tech com yeah. tech contracts." Mm -hmm. And oh. you all know how tech contracts are lucrative mm -hmm. in the United States government. They so, got set aside? Yes. Specifically for it. Mm. They, they just, they, man, they just hook them up, dog. Like, it's this white paper, yo, written by, um, what's the nigga name? I got the joint here. So that's why every time I call somebody. <laughs> every time, look, I be getting hit up by the Indian joints all the time. No, they be out here scamming, too. Yeah, Marxism, know. radical feminism, and a certain lifestyle by apes. Scary. I send y'all the uh, joint. It's like seven pages. It's a seven, it's like a fifteen minute read. Some but that don't talk about it. It talks about what the United States government oh does did mm. to uh, push that uh, that lifestyle to that country. To Allegedly, uh, no, it's it's documented in this joint. Allegedly, I mean this dude is an Indian dude. <laughs> like he lives in India. He's at an Indian university. I got you. I'm picking yeah. up what you put now. Hey, that's what Allegedly. I mean. That's what that's what he said. <laughs> Alleged. I'm not a legend either. Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, you're saying that's what this that's brother's what this saying. Just I got, you. I got with that, right. Yeah. right, right, right. I got you. That's what he's saying to place. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I mean. Man, I'm sitting here still thinking about this Ugandan situation. But yeah. dog, look at what look at what that's, uh, that's very I, I, that's very very, very interesting. Look and at what my man ran. Like I said, I mean other countries are doing this stuff. I don't know why. I wouldn't be opposed to America saying man, Look what Biden said he was going to do. You need to do whatever it is involving sex in the privacy of your home, and that's it. Nothing in we public. We tried that already with our military. Don't ask, don't tell. Remember that was that? the first step to, enter, to, to introduce the next policy that was introduced, though. But I'm saying, maybe across government. the board, whether you gay, trans, straight, whatever it is, we don't, nobody outside needs to know. But straight people are not doing, having parades and stuff. And, and, yes, and we are. Nor should they. No, we not. What are you talking about? 
Uh, we don't have a straight pride parade. No, hold on, just hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're not the oppressed one. Hold on, let's let's keep it real. Let's so, keep it real. Any nigga that's in a parade is gay. That's not true. I mean, come on, dog. <laughs> like, come true. on. The idea of You're a being parade. homophobic. Dog. <laughs> I'm just saying. The idea of a parade is y'all gay, dog. Like you're parading around, around in, the, <laughs> in the city on the stage, twirl. Half the time you twirl and shit. You probably got long leather boots on for uh, one reason or another. Like some, sort of, some sort of costume. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah.